What we're gonna do in this lesson is to create a checkout form like this. In this form, user can enter their checkout information in a stepper like this. First of all, user enter customer information, shipping info. Here we have select boxes that they are dependent to each other and also the credit card information. We are going to implement the UI in this lesson and for next lesson we implement confirm order. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to implement this feature. What we're gonna do is to create checkout.js in pages folder. Let's duplicate cart and rename it to checkout.js. Here I'm going to rename card to checkout and get rid of handler here and let's define states for customer information, shipping information and payment. Let's start with customer details. For customer details, we're gonna save three data. It's gonna be first name, last name, and email. And they are state hook. Let's import use state first. And right before checkout, I'm going to define dev variable and it's a Boolean value. If we are in development mode, it's true. And if it's true, I'm going to set the first name to Jane. I'm not gonna enter it again and again because I'm testing and I'm developing this form uh, and I'm not gonna enter them data. So I'm using default data. Let's go for the next step. The next data that I'm going to save is shipping data. Here is shipping data, including shipping name, a street, postal code, city, state or province, and country and shipping options. That's the data we need to save for shipping. After shipping details, it's time to save payment details. For payment details, what I'm gonna save is card number, expiry month, expiry year, CVV, and billing postal code. And like always, if I'm in development mode, I fill them by fake data, I'm in production, it's gonna be empty. The last part is about fulfilling data for shipping. It includes shipping countries. You know, they are uh, items for select boxes, including countries, subdivisions, and shipping options. That's it about the state. We need to create checkout. And I'm going to get rid of all content inside layout here remove them and rename card to check out. Great. When I click on proceed to check out in the checkout screen, I have this empty content. So what we're going to do is to create a stepper and show input fields for the first step, which is getting customer details. Before that, let's define a section for stepper. We need to save the active step. After creating active step, it's time to define steps. We have three steps. For the next step, I'm going to define handle next button. Here is the body of handle next button. If the step is equal to last step, I need to handle checkout. I just comment it out because it's the topic of the next lesson. But if it's not, I just change the active step to the next step. Let's do the same for handle back. For handle back, what I'm gonna do is to set the next step to active step minus one. And also I, I set errors to empty. For errors, we need to define a state to show errors. Great, let's go for the render part. In the layout, first of all, we need to show a checkout title or heading. It's the heading, heading one, but the style is H6. After that, 
it's time to check loading if I'm loading card information I need to show a circular progress otherwise I need to render information to render information I'm going to create a grid container inside that a grid item and inside that create a card inside the card create a form and inside form create a stepper here is the stepper that we're gonna show to user the active step is the active step state and I render steps like this using map function and convert to a step component and a step label from material UI it's time to create a box inside box check active state if active step equal to steps dot length it means that we are at the end of the stepper at this point we need to check errors and if there is an error we need to show error message I'm gonna use a box to show error message like this in this box I create a list and in inside list for all errors I convert textual error to list item and alert with severity error next to error I just show a button for back because we need to provide a way for user to fix that errors user should be back to previous step and fix the error otherwise I need to show confirming order because we are at the last step and there is no error so I need to show a message for confirming order otherwise create a box like this and define get step content and pass active step as a parameter we need to implement this later you know it's gonna show the input boxes and right after that create a box to show back and next if we are in the last step instead of next we show confirm order as a caption of button great let's close this close the box close the form and close the card and close the grid and close the grid again and save it that's it about the end of render part let's scroll up and define stepper using control space and importing from material UI same for this step label import box for a material UI and define get step content for step content scroll up right before return function define get step content it accept step as a parameter and inside that we need to define a case in this case I check the step with zero if it's zero we need to create input items for customer information including first name last name and email so create case zero return and create an empty container inside that create first name input box using material ui last name and the last one is email for default case i'm gonna return a noun step and close the switch let's import text field aha uh -huh, here is the result we have customer information and it shows first name last name and email you can change the information here and click on next okay let's implement shipping details step in the get step content create another case before default case one and we are going to return a jsx create empty container and in step one what we're gonna return is shipping information the first field is shipping name 
second one a street third one city next is gonna be postal code the next one is a select box not a text box like this it's a form control we need to import form control from material ui and input label from it and we need to implement handle shipping country change. It shows list of countries coming from commerce.js and we need to update the order based on the selected country. For a state, we have the same rule. We need to create a select box to show subdivisions or states. And the last one is shipping options select box like this let's implement the handlers for them scroll up and right before get step content create a handler for shipping country change here we set the shipping country and also we fetch subdivisions because they are related select boxes so it's gonna be like this fetch subdivision function get a country code and from commerce.js load subdivisions based on the selected country code and it set the subdivisions to this state let's go for the next one handle subdivision change when user select an state i need to set selected province and fetch shipping options for shipping options we need to pass two parameter let's implement fetch shipping options here fetch shipping options accept three parameter the checkout token id the country and state or province and by default it's null because when we are fetching shipping options id of checkout is important based you know it depends on the id of checkout great let's define checkout id as a state so I scroll up here right after error define checkout token after defining fetch shipping options we need to implement handle shipping options change right after handle subdivision change create this handler for saving shipping options great let's scroll down and make sure there is no error at all at this step we are going to load countries on page load to do that we need to define use effect like this and it's gonna depend on card dot loading it means that when card is loaded run use effect again let's import use effect from react and what i'm gonna do here is to check if cart.loading is false it's gonna be true and i'm going to generate a checkout token the first step to check out in commerce.js is to generate a token here is the function generate token first of all we check the length of line item if it's zero we return user to the cart screen to add item to cart otherwise we create an instance of commerce and call checkout.generate token and we need to pass the id of cart and set the type to cart to create a token to check out items in the cart and the token object is gonna be saved here and I set checkout token to this to save the token in my React component. After that, we need to call fetch shipping countries. Let's implement fetch shipping countries right after handle back, right before fetch subdivisions. Here I get the checkout token ID and call commerce.services locate list shipping countries and pass checkout token id Base this checkout token i load only the countries based on this checkout token not all countries here is the result when i go to the second step 
the information full name street is filled and here you know i get united states after that i have all states inside this country and after that i get shipping options in this state and by clicking on next i will go to payment information let's implement payment information go back to the get step content here and implement the case 2 after case 1 here create case 2 and we are going to return an empty container the first text box is gonna be card number second one is expiry month third one expiry year next CVV next CVV and the last one is gonna be billing postal code let's check the result next next aha uh -huh. card number and other payment information let's show the card items on the right side I scroll down to find the closing grid here and after card closing card and grid create another grid like this and set middle to four inside that create a card and inside that create a list inside list the first item is gonna be a heading and it shows order summary and after that show items in the card to user before checkout and the last list item is gonna be subtotal let's check the result aha uh -huh. it shows order summary and items in the card so when i go to this step i will get all information great we just implemented the checkout form but we didn't implement confirm order that's the topic of next lesson in this lesson we created the ui and also uh, the country selection loading states you know creating dependent select boxes like this and we redirect user to the confirm order if i click on it it just show confirming order but it doesn't do anything that's the topic of next lesson that's it for this lesson see you on next lesson